Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Today's video is a bit different. This is a video I've been meaning to do for a long time and it's one that's been highly anticipated. So um, in brief, I used to work for Nails Inc. I was their head of customer service and i that's where most of you knew me from when i started instagram and i started to get a bit of a following on instagram it was because i worked at nails inc and i was constantly posting little videos of me at qvc and photos of all the new products that were coming online and stuff like that when my my instagram was very nail based hence the name nail the day and a lot of people were asking what it's like to work at nails inc so i thought i would sit down and give you a little story time about it. So without further ado, let's get into my story. So first part of the video is what happened, how I got the role. So I'll give you a little backstory. So I was working at a um, an IT company for about seven years. So my career path has always been admin. So I started my career as a receptionist, then went on to be office administrator, and then worked my way up to office manager throughout various jobs and stuff like that. So at this point, I'm an office manager at this IT company. I've been there for seven years and I was the PA to the owner of the company. Long story short, the owner decided to sell the company, new company bought it. And a year down the line, I wasn't very happy with the way things were going in that company. So I came home and spoke to my other half and I was like, right, I've given this a year. I'm really not that happy. I want to move on. I want to do something else, but I want to do something or work for a company that I really love. He says to me, okay, if you could work anywhere, where would you work? And I was like, well, Nails Inc. I was obsessed with Nails Inc. polishes. Um, so I started wearing nail polish properly. I've always worn nail polish my whole life, but properly, I would say in around 2008, 2009. And I started to use Nails Inc. Um, around that time. And I discovered their top coat, which is the only top coat I've ever used in my life. It's amazing. Anyway, from then on, all the different colours started coming out. And the one that really did it for me was Baker Street. I will post it here. It's a really bright cobalt blue. And it was one of those colours that I got in a Today Special Value on QVC. And I thought, I'm never going to like this colour. It looks awful. And I put it on and I fell in love with it. Up until then, I was always wearing like a red, a nude, stuff like that. But this really started my nail polish obsession so i said i would love to work for nails inc because he was like well make it happen see what you can do so i decided to um go a bit off piece normally if i was going to look for a job i would go onto monster.com or a website or something i would look at the um the jobs that are free and just see which one i like the look of and go for it but when you want to work for a specific company there might not be a job available so I did what any normal person would do, and I stalked the person <laughs> that went on to QVC. So let me tell you a little bit about how I met the lovely Caroline. So when I started watching Nails Inc. on QVC, Heather was the, um, was the presenter, and you all might remember Heather. She had lovely big glasses on, she was very trendy, she was fantastic. Anyway, she left Nails Inc. and she moved on. And Caroline came on to um, replace her on QVC. Now, I didn't really realise at the time that the people that worked on QVC were Nails Inc. staff. So Caroline was the sales director for Nails Inc. And she ran all the stores across the UK. So um, I found her on LinkedIn. And through various times of her being on QVC. When you when Nails Inc. have a QVC hour, they encourage people to send in photographs of their manicures. And I would always send them in and I have my little watermark that says Nail the Day on it, as you've seen from my Instagram. And um, when, one day when I posted a, vid, uh, I posted a photograph to QVC via Twitter or something, and somebody, the, the presenter sort of mentioned it, said, oh, this is Nail the Day and she's wearing, you know, X, Y, Z. And Caroline was like, oh, I love this girl. I love her blog. And I was like, oh, my God, she knows who I am. Right. So I went straight onto LinkedIn and I updated my CV and everything. And I sent her a little uh, letter on uh, on LinkedIn. And I basically said, hi, Caroline, my name's Kathy. I'm an office manager. I'm not just a nail polish obsessive. Um, I would love to work for Nails Inc. If you have any job openings, please let me know. Anyway, so nothing happened. And about a week or two went by and I got a phone call from Caroline 
And she was like, oh, hi, Kathy, it's Caroline. Love to talk to you. I was like, oh my God, what is happening? And she spoke to me about a job that was opening up for a customer service executive. And I was like, okay, never done customer service before, but it's still admin. I can turn my hand. I know a lot about the polish. So I agreed to meet Caroline for a coffee. So I went into central London and I met her and her colleague for a cup of coffee. And we talked all things nail polish and all of that stuff and what I'm doing now, why I'm moving on, why I'm looking for this job specifically. And I told her everything I just told you. And anyway, after our meeting, I went off and then she called me and basically said that she thought this job wasn't going to be enough for me um, financially and uh, and you know challenge wise. So I was like, OK, this is interesting. So I was gutted. I was genuinely gutted. And then I just sucked it up and moved on. I stayed at my job that I wasn't that happy in. And then fast forward four months. So four months later, I get a, a call from Caroline again saying, um, we need you. Something has happened and somebody's left and um, we've got a bigger role for you. It was the uh, head of customer service and a bit of office management thrown in, a bit of PA work. Um, and I was like, OK, let's do it. So I met her again. We had a, a chat. We talked and we agreed on loads of stuff. And I took the job and I was by that point, um, I was still working at my previous company. I went home. I had my contract signed with Caroline within the day. Once I'd signed it and sent it back, I handed in my notice. My boss at the time was like, w w where are you going? Um, I think she was going to try and like talk me out of it. And I told her nails in and she was like, OK, go. I'm never going to be able to compare. No matter how much money we offer you or whatever, like I'm never going to be able to win that one. So... I have worked my notice. I went on holiday for two weeks and then I started my first day at Nails Inc. And uh, I was buzzing. Like, first of all, I worked really close to home in my last job. This was a job in Mayfair, central London, West One, posh, 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 central London. And um, I'd never done the London commute before. I'd never done the London thing before. And um, I settled into it really quickly. Within three months, once I passed my three month probation, I sold my car and I was a London working person. I loved it. And the one thing I loved most about working at Nails Inc on my very, very, very first day, I walked in, I was there nice and early. I met all the girls and everything. By that point, it was all girls working there, like 25, 30 people, all women, met them all, um, had a coffee with Caroline and, you know, a bit of a chin wag or what have you, and then had my training. And about 9.30, course to 10 in the morning, in came Thea Green like a bolt of lightning, and she was just everything I hoped she would be. Thea, for me, has always been my business kind of, a person I'd looked up to. She's only about a year and a half older than me. Um, but the drive that woman has and what she's created with Nails Inc. I really hoped that when I met her, it would live up to the, my expectation would live up to who she is. And honestly, like when I tell you that Thea is a hundred percent in charge there, she, nothing can get past or through without her. She is involved in every single aspect of her business. It is her passion I have never known anybody to work as hard and as long as Thea. And I'm so happy to say that she is exactly what I hoped she would be, but more on her a bit later. So uh, yeah, that was my kind of first day. And um, as this sort of days and weeks rolled on, I really got into the role. I loved speaking to customers. Okay, it's customer service. So not everybody phones you up in a good mood. I managed to get things calmed down there. Um, when I started, the customer service side wasn't that great because I'd had a couple of temps in and nobody really came in and took charge of the role and owned the role. And then when I started, after my first month, I got everything kind of smoothed out. I knew what I was doing. I learned everything and everything seemed to be going really well. So I'd been at Nails Inc. for about three or four months and um, by this point, I'd done a bit of hand modelling. I will insert some of my pictures here. Oh, I've got a pen. I've got my little pad and I'm like going through all my things. 
Um, I've done a bit of hand modeling. As you know, I'm very, very proud of my nails. And at Nails Inc, one of the perks at the time, I don't know if they still do it, was that staff get free manicures once or twice a month. So um, every time that I did a modeling job for them, obviously I got a free manicure. And nine times out of 10, it was with Vanessa, who was the um, QVC manicurist at the time. She was like, um, I love Vanessa. When we had our training together, she when she met me, we had, I had an interview with her as well before I joined. And um, when I came there for my training and everything, she was really happy and she was like, oh, you know, what are you gonna teach me? And we made a bit of jokes and everything. It was great. So Vanessa and I got on really well from the first second I met her because she is equally as bonkers about nail polish as I am. So anyway, whenever I had a modeling job with Nails Inc or what have you, it was tends to be with Vanessa. And as the uh, modeling jobs kind of went on to Instagram and it was all things like, if we were launching a new product, I would just do a quick manicure and put my hand up there. Or if my th my first ever job with them, like my first little, mo little modeling bit was for Poppy Day. Um, again, I'll insert the pictures here. So Vanessa did a Poppy a Remembrance Day manicure on me and kind of went from there. Because I was in the office, it was easy for me to do it. I just would go into the kitchen and Vanessa would give me a manicure and do my nails and take a couple of pictures and it'd go up on Instagram and it was all very, very good. And then, when Thea obviously it got round the office that I knew every single nail polish and before I knew it people were coming to me and asking me you know what color is this if there was a lid missing or you know all that sort of thing and I mentioned in my interviews and when I met Thea and got to know Thea a little bit I mentioned that I was a QVC nut I've been a customer of QVCs for about 20 years no word of a lie ever since I started working I have spent money on QVC I love their jewelry I love the beauty products I love everything that they have on there you know I do so um Thea mentioned that they're always looking for kind of guest presenters to fill in for when Caroline can't make it if there's a segment that because with, with QVC not every segment you get is an hour long you might have to pop in there and you might get a 10 minute slot to do a kit or something. And QVC kind of send you the hours that they want you to do or the times they want you to do. So Caroline would do full hours because she was the brand ambassador at the time for QVC for Nails Inc. But guest shows, if Caroline's working in store or in the office or what have you, and she's got to spend like four hours of her day for a 10 minute slot, they have other people to kind of fill in. So they said, would you want to do it? Um, and I was flattered terrified um all all the things all the feelings um i couldn't believe how fast this was moving that i'd only been there a few months and like i'd all these opportunities were happening which is amazing and with with nails inc they really really do if you show that you're willing to learn you're willing to get involved um basically you can you, the sky's the limit there you know you can do whatever you want because Thea wants people wants to get the best out of people so from that perspective I was so happy to work there so I had to go for auditions for QVC um obviously and uh it's like a two-stage audition process um you're meant to talk for 10 minutes with a QVC presenter and um, you can choose a product you want to talk about. You bring them along, you have some blurb, they give you a bit of an outline of what they want you to do. So I went along and I had an audition and my first one was horrific. <laughs> I was so scared. They wanted me to like show the nail polish and I was like showing it. And I could see them doing a close up. My hands were like this. I was shaking so much. Anyway, I didn't get through. But the lady that runs the uh, the auditions, and she's like a talent scout, she spoke to me and she said, look, you know, you know so much about it. Here are some pointers. Go away, practice more, come back in a couple of weeks. So I did that. And the second time I got through, so I was like, oh, my God, this is real now. Like, I could actually be on live TV. It's a lot to take in. Um, so anyway, once I'd passed, I was at work doing my regular job and then one of the girls who runs the QVC account came over to me and she was like, so are you free on whatever day it was at whatever time? Um, we want you to be a model at, uh, for having your nails done and you can talk as well. And I was like, okay. So I wasn't going to be completely on my own. Caroline was going to be there. I would have one of our manicurists there, the lovely, uh, lovely Roni, who is 
still a good friend of mine and I was just like oh my god um this is really 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 scary anyway went along did the thing it was a little experience the first time was terrifying i could not get my hands to stop shaking poor roni was trying to paint my nails but she was like holding my hands still when i was like this and they asked me a couple of questions i just spoke and you could hear that i was petrified my mum has got um the videos there so i'm gonna put a little clip in here of uh of, oh god it's just awful anyway so yeah um it started and then after that i was there once a week twice a week what have you for the length of time and then came the today's special value so the tsv is one product that launches every single day at midnight on qvc different brands all the time and it launches at midnight and then it runs to the following midnight or however long stocks last. So 24 hours, there's one kit, there's one amazing price. Now, when that happens, obviously pre-COVID, um, the people that are working on that have to be at QVC the whole time. Obviously, you're on live TV. So you would be at QVC for 17, 18 hours. Um, you would have about four hours sleep the whole day and you were on about seven or eight times a day. There were usually two or three hour long slots and a few little mini slots all throughout the day. And uh, wow, if you've never done a TSV, I know some of my people that I used to work with at QVC um, watch this channel and they will concur. I'm sure if you do, comment below how exhausting the TSVs are. I still, to this day, when I watch QVC and I watch Nails Inc and I watch anybody on a Today's Special Value, my heart goes out to them. It's a long, long, long day. But the buzz is absolutely amazing. The buzz of live television, the buzz of the build-up, the buzz of how much you're selling. Oh my God, what an experience. And I'm so thankful to Thea and to Caroline for giving me the opportunity to do that job because even now I still really really miss it I love the job I'm in now I wouldn't change it for the world I'm so so happy but I do miss QVC quite a lot so along with the QVC role I also got involved a little bit with the kits the girls that work in the um in the office they are also the people that create the polishes so I would get a first glance at any new kit that came along when they were creating QVC, they were QVC kits they would ask for my input I would give them what I would think as a QVC consumer and um, oh my god what a great 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 opportunity what an amazing way to just gather so much nail polish I still have so much nail polish because of that job and um, I'm really proud of the kits that we created and oh, it's just so much fun like absolutely a brilliant brilliant thing to see a product come from an idea because all nail zinc polishes come from the runway they are essentially a fashion-led brand so Thea's trends that she creates are from the catwalk which is amazing and um, so there's all of that going on and it's just a buzz, like working in an office where you're creating a product from start to finish with, a, with the team that they have there. Everybody that worked on everything was in that office. So the buzz was insane. When there was a new product to be tested, we tested them all in the office. We gave them, um, you know, I, I tested like gel kits. I tested long wear polishes, the top coats they were bringing out. I, I, we tested everything and we gave our feedback and it was just brilliant. It was absolutely amazing to watch these people that have such input into their jobs and the passion they have was honestly insane um so yeah i enjoyed that side of it and then we came to the celebrity uh collaborations so the first celebrity collaboration that i was involved in well not involved in that i worked on with nails inc was uh, lottie tomlinson who is louis tomlinson from one direction's sister and she oh she was so cute so much fun i loved working on that whole project so basically they created a set of nail polishes and lipsticks to match um, and it was all Lottie's name on there and um, I was only involved in the launch party side of things so when we did the launch in Boots um, I begged the PR person I was like oh please please can I work on it I can't wait because the 
the um, the One Direction fans are insane, like they're proper crazy. And people were just going nuts for this. And I really wanted to get involved in it. So I got a job working <laughs> on the day of the um, product launch in Boots, Oxford Street as security. It was so funny, honestly, I loved it. So I got to meet Lottie and her partner and um, we, you know, wore all the kits and everything, but I was essentially crowd control. It was hysterical, all these screaming girls and I was doing the Instagram, I was going out to the crowds and they were queuing up and being like, say hi to Lottie. And they were all screaming and going ballistic. And it was brilliant, honestly, it was so much fun. I'll post a little photo here of me and Lottie. Um, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed working on it and I thank um, the lovely PR lady that let me be crowd control. I did it on two of the launch, um, the launch party type thing that was great and we had a launch party so Lottie was there her brother was there lots of celebs and everything it was brilliant it was such a fun night and again every time anything like this happened I was just pinching myself like I just couldn't believe how lucky I was to be working there and um yeah it was it was so 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 much fun so working for Thea, working with Thea, working for Thea. So part of the job, as I said, was PA, which was PA to Thea. Um, I won't go too much into detail about that because obviously it's a personal assistant. So I just basically did whatever she needed me to do for her, which was great. And we worked quite closely together because when Caroline left, Thea did QVC as the main presenter, which she still is. Um, so I got to go to QVC with her a lot and got to know her really well. And as I said, I. I have nothing but good things to say about Thea. I really, really admire her. I think she's a great person. We still chat occasionally. She has my number, I have her number. We message just to check in every now and again. Um, and I'm just really happy we had that relationship. Um, like I say, the opportunities that she gave me were amazing. I loved working for her and for her company. And I still hold it in very, very, very high regard. Um, so the reason I left, which is obviously you're like, why did you leave? Because obviously this was such a great job. It was a great job and I loved it, but it got to a point after three years, I worked there for three years, it got to a point that I just wasn't enjoying customer service anymore. Um, very long story short, it kind of grated on you a little bit after a while and, you know, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to go back to my old office management roots. And although I was kind of, at this point, I was um, head of customer service. I was looking after the office pretty much for everybody there. And I was PA to Thea as well, which was great. But it just wasn't, I, I just wanted to go back to my office management job. And then an opportunity came up, which is where I am now. I've been there for nearly three years now, where I am now. And um, I got the job and I, I decided to go. And when I told Thea I was leaving, um, she was very supportive. She understood that I'd done three years. It was quite a lot in that role. Um, but, you know, she was happy that I'd found something that I wanted to do. So, like I say, there's no tea here. There's no bad uh, vibes at all. We left on very good terms and I'm still, like I said, I still buy Nails Inc. You know I do. I still love watching on QVC. I love all of that stuff. And I'm still a huge fan of the brand and I would recommend anybody buy Nails Inc. polishes because they are hands down the best out there. But the moral of this little story is if you're in a rut, if you think I want to work for anywhere, just email them, speak to them, give it a go. Fortune favours the bold. Don't let anybody ever tell you no. If I hadn't gone for that, if I hadn't emailed Caroline on that whim and just been like, I want a job, I wouldn't be here talking to you now. I probably wouldn't even have a YouTube. I wouldn't even, you know, I, I don't know what I would have been doing. I'd probably still been at the last job that I was at before. And although I loved those roles, this job, this job at Nails Inc. brought me out of my shell. I've got more, I work with younger people. I'm in my I'm in my early 40s now. Back then I was like in my late 30s. Everybody I worked with, I was the oldest person in the whole office. You know, bar Thea, she's like two years older than me. But everybody else, I was like at least 10 years younger than. And I'm still friends with quite a few of them now. And they're all such great girls. But I learned about fashion. I learned about how to be daring. I learned how to have fun. I learned how to go out and enjoy myself again and things that I'd forgotten to do. And it really was great for me. And I'm uh, working in central London. I mean, who doesn't want to do that? Like it's, it was brilliant. I'd always thought, oh, I don't want to work in central London, all that traveling and everything. Oh my God, the buzz of working in central London was just amazing. And I, 
I, I just I would just urge you to think about what you want. Think about what your dream job would be. What is your favourite product? If you could go there every day and have a hand in what they create, if you could talk to the MD of that company, if you could give your opinion, you know, how great is that? People that have businesses where they create things, they want people with passion. People love the fact that I was so passionate about the brand the whole time I worked there. Even when I left, I was still passionate about it. I still am. I'm wearing nails ink polish right now. You know, I'm still a massive, massive advocate for them and give them a big thumbs up and cheer them on at every opportunity. Wouldn't you want to be a part of something like that? If you do, really have a think. If you're at crossroads now, if you lost your job due to COVID, anything, just think about what you want to do because you never know what's around the corner. And if it's meant to be, it will be. And I actually think this was meant to be for me. And uh, yeah, I'm very grateful for it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it didn't, I didn't drone on too long. If you have any questions, if I missed anything out, please drop me a line below and um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day week, morning, afternoon, evening, day, whatever, wherever. See you in the next one. See, would you say this is a good brand? You're in customer services all the time for people that are really unable to do their own nail varnish. You get much of customers that are disabled or that have issues, just shaky, just have issues in general painting the nails. And because the brush is tapered, it suits any nail shape, any length. It's just perfect. Around the cuticle, can't go wrong. I have to say they are the, among the best brushes I've ever seen. At home one watching. Of our, one of our Hi Catherine. Loyal customers. Yep. Isn't it funny? I never come across a Catherine and then all at once, like buses. You're they down. all come at once. <laughs> <laughs> so we are looking at the remover pots. You get three of them for £18.50. Now they did Forever. sell out. So basically whilst, until it's unopened, whilst it's unopened, it mm. will last. It's only once you start to open it. But to be fair, the sponge stays so wet it really does just carry on yeah. lasting. But customers are using it, it so frequently. Months, it says 12 months, but no, <laughs> no. You, you would use, use it, it all, it all the time. I think customers talk about the fact they're actually happy to paint their nails more often because they've got this so product, easy. because it's so easy, yeah. you can see. And it's actually a really enjoyable thing yeah. to literally just so, dip so it. Satisfying. It's very satisfying. <laughs> so it's, it's away it could be the new stress ball, couldn't it? It's got yeah. that stress relief on it. Um, know, they are really easy to use. And they don't, you know, they don't stink like some nail polish remover. You know, if you're using nail polish remover, if I've been using normal nail polish remover, if I've run out of pots, my husband will walk into the room and just walk straight out again and say, I cannot bear to be in the room, the well, smell of it. Whereas this, does, this just smells pleasant. This has got the coconut fragrance and this particular one is also...